Good morning. Good Welcome morning. to Good Friday. Yes. It is the goodest Friday of the year. It is. It's a very important Friday. We're Fantastic. We're excited to be here for yep. an extra episode this week. Boom. For Good Friday. And you know, we're actually going to have some special guests, Isaac. Yep. We've got some awesome special guests. We have Al. That's my mum. Other mother. That's my mum. <laughs> uh, we got Ben. And we have Christina. Yes. Yes. Christina. So we're super excited to have all these guys with us today. Boom. Um, and you know what? It's Good Friday, so why don't we pray? Um, yep. And then we'll get into something fun. All right, awesome. Dear God, we love you so much. Thank you that it's Good Friday today, and we get to remember the amazing thing that you did for us uh, by dying on the cross. Uh, we love you, Jesus, and we thank you that we're going to have an awesome day. Amen. Amen. Well, we actually have a really old song, but we're bringing it back, and it's called Count Me In. Yep. And why don't we all get up and dance with Gabby? Woo! Hi, Al. 
How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm it's good great. Friday. Woohoo! I'm, I'm good. I'm very good. That's awesome. um, I have something that I have that you have to endure. So endure that you is can an interesting word. Enjoy and look forward to the joy that's coming after it. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous. What have you got for me today? I have a warhead. A warhead? So, yes. You have to oh. eat one of those. Uh, all of them? Mm, maybe just one. Okay. I haven't had a warhead since I was much younger. Okay. <laughs> and maybe a little bit more, less, cra well, more crazy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna Let's see how this on. goes. Um, is there a particular flavour that you want me to have? There's, there's, there's some pretty horrible ones on here. I think the here. lemon one will be awesome. I, think I knew she was going to say lemon. Great That's facials. not, okay. I'm assuming lemon is yellow. Hang on. You're a lot tiny. Awesome. Maybe you should have two then. No, it's okay. <laughs> All right. They're not that big, but here we go. Enjoy it. Come on. It's very sour. It's really horrible. <laughs> mm. How long do I have to endure this? The whole time. The whole, the whole time. time. Yep. Till it's finished. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to shut as hard as I can. As fast as I can so it's done. Oh my goodness, there's so much spit in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think it's gotten to the sweet bit. That was disgusting. Mm. But you said you said I was enduring it for something. Yeah, I've got better than this. I've got an Easter egg for you. And Do I'm you really? Yep, over there on your seat. Just so that be oh, behind you. Oh! <laughs> I like these awesome. things. I, I can have this. Is it worth it? Is it going to be worth it to have? Um, the... Yeah, it is actually. It's not, it's not too bad now that the warhead's lost all its sourness. So it's okay. It's okay. okay. So right. I can eat that Thank now. you. Um, can I spit this out first? I'm not on camera. No one wants to see you spitting things out. I'm going to go spit this warhead out and go and enjoy my Easter egg. Awesome. Thanks, Al. <laughs> Bye. Isaac, Isaac. Hey, Benny, what's going on? Man, I need your help, all right? I've been reading my I'll Bible. Help. It's really awesome. But I'm in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. All right, I'll read it to you, okay? All right. It says, he suffered death on the cross, but he accepted the shame as if it were nothing, right, because of the joy that God put before him. What does that mean? You know what? I, I'm not sure, but I but I think we're going to get a couple of uh, very smart people. Uh, in, yeah. In, we're going to get some smart people in to, to try smart, and tell us what's we going on. Where have we got smart on. people? We, we've got the smart people coming in. C can we bring them in? That yeah. Would be great. Do, do you want to do that now? Sky, the smart people. Can Here they come. In. Come on in, guys. Awesome. Well, Isaac, we're here with everyone, but I thought all first, the smart people. all the smart people, yep. but first we might actually just tell the story of Easter and then it might Let's start to make sense. All right. Okay. All right. So do you want to start? Do you want me to start? All right. Easter? Yeah. Okay. So there's a guy called Jesus. Jesus is God. And he came to earth as a baby. He was born on earth and he did everything perfectly. He never broke any laws. He didn't do anything bad. He was a good guy, right? Uh, he, yeah, he never did anything. He didn't even think anything mean about someone else. Yeah? Yeah, and you know, then he actually, he grew up and he started to teach people all about God's love and how to live like God. Um, and he even performed so many miracles, which I think is just awesome. But not all of the religious, like, important religious people thought that that was pretty cool because everyone started liking Jesus and started yeah. wanting to know more about that. Yeah. And so they actually didn't believe that Jesus was God's son and didn't believe that he was going to change the world. So wow. they actually started to do something about that. Yeah, so because they thought that, they decided that they would put Jesus to death on a cross. So uh, all the, uh, on the way there, they whipped him and they beat him, and they did so many bad things to him, and then they put him on a cross. Yeah, it's, they even, like, took his clothes. It was such a shameful Pain, like really painful time for yeah. Jesus. Like he felt everything that happened and it wasn't nice at all. Um, they pierced his hands and feet um, and they took him onto a cross, cross to suffer for us, for our sins, um, so that he couldn't even like struggle to breathe properly yeah. until he died. Yeah. 
Yeah, and when he died, the earth, it says in the Bible, the earth went completely dark. It went, even though it was the middle of the day, it was completely dark. And how, how crazy is that? Imagine yeah. it's just dark in the middle of the day. Dark, yeah. and, it, and it says in the Bible that the curtain that in, so there was a temple and the curtain between the most holy place and the, the place where all of the, I guess the normal people went, the curtain between that was closed, uh, was ripped, sorry, was ripped in two, which I guess symbolized the fact that we could be with God now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, and it like tore from the top to the bottom. It wasn't yeah. like someone started ripping it really slowly from the bottom. <laughs> it just tore all of a sudden yeah. as soon as Jesus took his last breath and said it was finished. Um, and he suffered, he died, and he was placed into a tomb. Um, and in the darkness and in the silence. Um, and this actually isn't the end of the story, which is really cool. But no, it's not. even though we're celebrating Good Friday and on Easter Sunday, we'll talk about how Jesus rose from the grave. We actually just want to remember that today. We don't want anyone yeah. to think that Jesus died and stayed dead. He actually rose again. And that's the only way we can find salvation is through Jesus. Yep. Yeah. Only through Jesus. Yeah. And so we just have some questions for our guests. For our smart people. Yeah. So, Ben, they're going to help us. And I think you have an answer. I think maybe. I think, you, I think if you first have a good... we'd like to ask Christina a question. Let's ask Christina a question. Yeah. All right. Do you want me to ask the question? Or sure. Do you want to go, ask for question? go for it. All right. It. I'm going to ask the question. You can ask the question. All right. So, if Jesus had to suffer greatly, he had to die on the cross, and it was all shameful and painful, right? That was crazy. Yeah. But the Bible says, like in the verse we were just talking about, but he did it because of the joy that was before him. Yes. What was the joy? That's a really good question. Um, Jesus's joy was actually us, which is Whoa. really cool. Like, like me and you. Even when I'm grumpy and horrible, I'm still Jesus's joy, which is so awesome. Um, you know, Jesus wanted people to be able to come to the Father, God, and uh, and come to heaven one day. He didn't want us to be separated from him anymore. And so he wanted us to have life here on earth. He wanted us to have freedom from all of those horrible things that we do that keep us bound up. And he wanted our hearts to be free as well. Um, and I think, yeah, the most important thing is he wanted us to be his friends, which is really cool. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So we're the joy that God died on the cross for. Yeah. yeah. That's wow. Really, really cool. Um, okay. Uh, I think you have a question. Ben? You, are you happy to answer a question? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Happy to answer a question? We're really yeah, excited. Huh. Yeah, he's... I, I'm a smart one. All yeah, I think you are. I think you are. Wow. I think you know more than you think. All right. <laughs> all right. You know, Jesus wanted people to come to him, um, and he wanted to die on the cross um, and go through all of that pain um, so people could be free. But who were the people set before him? Well, it was everyone, each one of us, individually. I think the... God put before uh, before Jesus each one of us, and I think um, Jesus did what He did for each one of us. It wasn't, you know, yes, He did it for all of us, but He would have done it for each one of us. Yeah, He He saw He saw each one of us. He saw where we were before, and He He sees where we are after, and He He sees the difference He's going to make in our lives, and that's why in the Bible it says only through Jesus that we can be saved, yeah. because it's the sacrifice He made on the cross. So we don't have to take that punishment. He's already done it for us, yeah, yeah? so that each one of us can be set free. Yeah, but, yeah. I think that's really cool. And, and it's almost like Jesus knew who each of us were. Definitely. It wasn't like it's just people. It was yeah. individuals. Individually. That's yeah. really cool. That's mm. really cool. Very good. All right, I think we have one more question for Al, yeah. for my mum. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... The Bible says, just like Ben said, that the only way that we can, well, how, how, do we, how, do we, how do we receive Christ's salvation? If it says that Jesus is the way that we do it, how do we receive it? We can just, it just says in the Bible that we can openly believe and just say Jesus is Lord, and if we believe in our hearts that Jesus died for us, then we can be saved. It's, it's just as easy as saying a prayer. Now, a prayer is just talking to God, so we can just ask Him, we can say to Him, can you come into my heart and be my friend? Wash away all the stuff that we've done that's wrong. And when we believe, then, you know, Jesus comes into our heart and he will never, ever leave, which is awesome. Sometimes we think that um, if we do the wrong thing again, he might leave again. But no, he's there forever. And so he's that's with cool. us no matter what. Wow, that is awesome. So all we have to do to get Jesus in our heart, to have Jesus come into our heart and be our best friend and become a Christian is ask him. Wow. And believe it. That's crazy. 
Well, I, I, I think, I think we should. If you wanna, if you wanna do that, if you wanna join God's family, I think we should pray now. And if you don't want to, well, this is this is how you pray the prayer. If you wanna do it later, <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm gonna pray, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll do that. So this is this is how the prayer goes. And if you wanna do this with us today, if you wanna accept Jesus into your heart, uh, pray it with me. Yeah. So it goes like this. Dear God, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for coming down to earth and being a and living a perfect life just so that I could be in relationship with you, God, and become a Christian. And God, right now, I ask that you would come and you would forgive all of the sins that I've done and wash my heart clean and you'd come into my heart. God, Jesus, I believe that you are God and I speak that out. You are God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's super exciting. Um, and you know, this message, it's really important. Like, it seems really, really important. Um, but, like, we found it out because Ben, like, he was reading his Bible, and, and we've all found out because we maybe come to church or something like that. But what if people don't read their Bible or come to church? Do you think that we should just, should we keep it to ourselves? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, no. Um, so, we definitely shouldn't keep it to ourselves. You know, like you said, People find out about Jesus all the time by reading about the, reading from the Bible, and the Bible actually says in Romans chapter 10, but before people can pray to the Lord for help, they must believe in him. And before they can believe in the Lord, they must hear about him. And for anyone to hear about the Lord, someone must tell them. Makes sense. And it goes on to say, and before anyone can go and tell them, they must be sent. As the scriptures say, how wonderful it is to see someone coming to tell the good news. So one of my favorite passages in the Bible. And it's so easy and simple. It makes such sense. People aren't going to find out about Jesus unless someone tells them and they hear about it. But people have to actually go and do that job. It's, you know, that's what Jesus has called us to do. And so this news, this good news, because it's Good Friday, is for everyone everywhere in the whole wide world. And Jesus now sends you as a kid or however old you are to go and share this great joy with your friends, your family, your neighbours, whoever you see and can have a conversation with. That's our great joy set before us is to go and tell people about Jesus. Everyone deserves to know this. This is the best thing in the whole world for anyone to hear. And it's Jesus' joy that, that they come and know about him and that they get to accept him into their heart so yeah totally cool. it's awesome that's so cool and you know what you're sent so that's pretty cool you can go out and tell people about this episode you can go tell them about God you can even show them parts of the Bible which is really really cool but we really hope you have a fantastic weekend with family friends Easter eggs bunnies I don't know something fun maybe some delicious lunch and we will see you again on Sunday for our 9am premiere of our Easter Sunday service so we'll see you then everyone Bye. Bye. Bye.